Capricorn, we need to talk. <laughs> Good morning. Narai here, going to do a reading for you guys. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and South Node. Take what fits and leave the rest, as this is not a personal reading. And whatever doesn't resonate for you at the moment it could be for somebody else. I don't know why I did that, but whatever. It could be for you later down the line, if not currently, or it's just not for you. So I wanted to put that out there. And you decide if a, if a reading is for you or not. Um, and feel free to reverse the roles because sometimes when we interpret things, they happened in reverse. So spirit, and I said we need to talk hoping that spirit will tell me what I need to tell you. I feel like there's something you guys may need to know. Spirit, are you able to tell me what's coming for Capricorn? What is coming for Cappies, please, and thank you. Messages and guidance for Cappies. Messages and guidance for Capricorn, please, and thank you. Ooh. Thank you for liking my video. And subscribing to the channel now I am an acquired taste so if you don't like the music or like my reading just feel free to go to another video it just means that I'm not your person spirit what messages do we have for Capricorn what is coming for Capricorn please what's coming for Capricorn Ooh. oof um, Capricorn, possibly another Capricorn or some toxicity. Beware of some toxicity that may come to you. There may be somebody that is manipulative or tries to string you along coming into your future. Um, this could just be a, a toxic situation or a toxic person, something you may need to be aware of. I feel like this is a warning. I have the Seven of Cups. This is you having options. This is also things not necessarily being as they appear. There may be some illusion coming and some options that you have available, whether it's a place to live, a car, a job, a partner, a friend, a pet. I don't know why I said all those things. But with the Seven of Cups, there's options and there may be some confusion um, in choosing but be sure that you're seeing past the illusion that's being presented because somebody's presenting an illusion. There's a snake here. There's a snake here. I just noticed through this one, there's water. It's like there's a situation where you can go with the flow and then I feel like there's another situation that may stand out to you and it may seem exciting, but it may be manipulative or not displaying everything that you need to see. Messages. And there's a bat here. Is that a bat? It looks like a bat wing. So when I see the bat wing, I can't help but think about Dracula. <laughs> and what it makes me think is like a narcissist type person. And the reason that I say that is because you have somebody that you see one way and then they change on you. And I only say that because in movies, like in cartoons and stuff, Dracula turns into, like a bat turns into Dracula or whatever sometimes but I have in mind somebody that starts off one way and then changes on you if somebody changes on you drastically I just heard love bombing in my head too if that narcissist are known to do that did I really not say an energy vampire you may have somebody come into your energy and want 
your energy all the time and you will know when you have met this person because they're going to say and do things for a reaction out of you. They are going to be the type of person that puts all their stuff on you and then they leave, meaning they do an emotional dump and then they're gone. Um, this is the type of person that one, when you speak to them or you're around them, you kind of want to get away or you realize you're drained even after a phone conversation. So I wanted to put that in there. Ooh. See, Ace of Wands. There is going to be some sort of passionate new beginning for you guys. I don't know if this is going to have to do with a relationship um, or a job, but whatever it is, it does have the potential of getting into that Ten of Pentacles energy where you're creating a legacy. Um, this is like a this is like a family. This is like creating a legacy and having long term stability. This one. Yeah, this there's going to be something that you don't see. There's going to be something hidden. So take your time and pay attention so that it, that it does not interfere because sometimes all it takes is for us to make the wrong choice and then we end up screwing ourselves. I have the six of swords that I just saw. If you make the wrong decision, you, decisions, you will have to move on to calmer waters later. So don't rush, take your time. When I see the four of pentacles, I think of patience and I think of, oops, I think of patience and I think of somebody holding their heart close to their chest, holding their feelings close to their chest. Um, this is like not giving your energy to everybody that's asking for it, but this is not spending your money frivolously and going on a shopping spree. This is being mindful and conservative. Some of you may actually be conservative and that is what attracts certain individuals to you. Ooh, Capricorn, look at this. The Hermit card in reverse. You, if you are in Hermit mode, you will be getting out of Hermit mode because you will have learned to see things from a totally different perspective and you will not allow the past to hold you back and stop you from enjoying your life. And I know some of you are gonna say, I'm not, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking for the people that realize that they're allowing the fear of the past situation, whatever it may be, stop them from actually living their lives. People are gonna realize that. Oh my God. You're going to realize that once you get out of hermit mode, you will find your, it's because you found your stability and sometimes our stability just has to do with our way of thinking. But this is also a marriage card and a reason to celebrate. This makes me think you guys are going to meet somebody. What is this? The King of Swords. If you do meet someone, be sure to stand in your truth. Be sure to stand in your truth and be honest and speak your mind. Don't hold back. I'm going to pull three cards from this deck. What flipped over? Spirit, what do we have? If Capricorns were to meet somebody, Capricorns going to start inspecting everybody they see. Watch. Ooh, what is up with the eyes? Okay, I'm done. So, 
I pulled gap teeth. Some of you may meet somebody that has a gap. I personally think they're sexy, especially in the middle. I have them on the side, but I think they're sexy in the middle. I don't know why. Not on everybody though. Um, some of you may meet somebody that has a beauty mark. So I'm going to say this, this can be who you need to watch out for, for some of you. And then for others, this could be who you could possibly meet. So one, why I'm saying that is because it is a sign or a message for you to pay close attention when you notice these features on this person, because either they're the person that you're supposed to meet and just because you meet them and I say the marriage card and the 10 of pentacles, it doesn't mean that's going to happen. It could be just somebody that's in your life for a season because there's a reason. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that's your soulmate and that's who you're going to die with, but it could also mean, um, there's something that you need to watch out for in this person as well, possibly because I'm talking to so many people. I have animated eyes. This person may do their eye makeup a certain type of way. Or animated, they may be very expressive with their eyes. Like every time they talk, they're showing a different, like <laughs> doing something different with their eyes. I don't know. And then I had mixed colored eyes. It's a person with two different color eyes. People do do that, uh, are born that way. And then there are people that wear contacts like that. And then I have green eyes. And then I have an oval face, but look at her eyes too. They're like hazel or blue. So that is what I have for you, Capricorn. I'm gonna leave you with that. I think it's a message, um, like a warning. I think it's a warning um, for, for a lot of you. There's gonna be some sort of toxicity. Um, and when I see the devil card, I think of betrayal a lot too. But that's what I have for you. I love you guys. Thank you for watching, sharing, and subscribing. And until next time, bye.